Hi everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry and tonight I am going to be working on a rather large commission piece. Um, my husband is actually going to be making a double frame for this painting once it's completed for the commission and um, we are going to be using a whole bunch of blues. So I am going to flood this huge canvas, bring you down and we'll get started. Just a moment. Okay, I'm back and I've got the canvas flooded and I went ahead and popped the bubbles since I had to walk around the table in order to get to them. I'm just filling in a couple of bare spots that I see here. I'll work on the sides later. Okay, and I know that you probably can't see the whole canvas, but um, this is a 30 by 30 canvas. Um, it is a level one, which is what was requested due to the frame that's going to be placed around it. The frame is going to be a double layer frame, so it's going to actually, the wood is going to come over the edge a little bit of the actual painting and set in there. Um, they've asked to have it resined. Um, we'll see how that goes, because this is a very large canvas to be resining. Um, but we will, uh, we'll discuss that after painting is dry what is the best course of action because I still think too it's maybe a little heavy but anyway so what the customer has requested is um, very a variety of blues they would like the um, the composition to be on the diagonal of this 30 by 30 and then what they like is uh, the blues to come around this corner and go up and around here leaving um, quite a large white space at the top. So that's what I'm going to do. So tonight's colors are going to be Liquitex Aqua. So it's Liquitex Basics Aqua. There's um, a lot of these aquas are just going to be like highlights in here. Uh, the next one is Deco Art Metallic Aquamarine. Then we're going to use the Ocean Green. Then I'm going to add in um, the lake blue. After the lake blue, I'm going to add peacock pearl. Then I'm going to put in a touch of sky blue, metallic cobalt blue, um, master touch of pale blue, deco art extreme sheen ice blue, Equitex basic cobalt blue hue. I think that will be really pretty in there. And then I'm going to use Prussian blue as well. Now um, I am going to be adding some Deco Art metallic pearl, but I'm going to add that kind of randomly, so throughout the other colors. Um, the other thing that the client wanted was to ensure that there were some cells. So that's why I'm using a lot of these um, metallics in between here. I don't use acrylic, um, or, um, I don't use the oils. Um, because I just don't, you get better cells or you get nicer cells with the, the paint itself. So I'm not going to be using any silicone. That's what I meant to say, silicone. So again, the wave is going to go around this corner, up to here, and then crest a bit here. But they want a lot of white space, so I'm going to try to keep it within this frame here, the wave. The wave will be on the bottom, the white space will be on the top. So let's get started. So this is our aqua. I'm really nervous about this because I've never done this, so... I know, where, I know in my mind what I want it to look like. So I just want to get a general sense of where I want this to go. Caps are a little tight. Um, here's the aquamarine. Next is going to be our ocean green, which is this beautiful light color. Really like this. Because this is a large painting, I'm going to use a lot of paint. The next one is lake blue. I'm 
do realize that a lot of this paint is going to get blown off, but that's why I'm using so many different colors and types. Sky blue, because again, we want to get a lot of color variety in here too. Next is cobalt blue. Oh, that one went everywhere. Alright, let's see. This cobalt blue seems to explode out of its bottle all the time. this whole corner up, this corner over here. Next, um, for a little bit more highlight, we're going to use pale blue. Next is our um, Extreme Sheen Ice Blue. So the ice blue, since it's darker, is going to go bottom and then accent as well. Okay, whoopsie. All right. Then the last two colors are my dark blues. So my dark blues, this first one is the cobalt blue hue. So I'm going to make sure that that follows the bottom again. That is such a pretty color. And then I'm going to accent it as well. And then my favorite color, Prussian blue. I just love this color. It's a nice dark color, gives great accent, de definition. So I'm going to put that along the bottom to make sure that I get it covered well. Okay, so now looking at this right now, I can tell I'm going to need a little bit more in the crest here. So I'm going to add some of my lighter colors to swing on in this way, just to give me a little more in the top here. Just a little bit, because we need to make sure that that wave crest really pretty, because that's kind of what we're going for. We're going for a oh, swing and a wave. Um, Oh, I need um, add more of the of the ocean green. This. And then I want um, the peacock pearl because the peacock pearl is gorgeous. And then I think. This is where I'm going to put in the uh, metallic pearl. So I think that will give me the effect that I'm looking for. So now, and like I said, this paint here, this, this canvas is so large that it takes up my entire table and where I was storing everything. So I have to move things around. Okay. So the goal is to um, to blow this way make sure that it gets down off the sides here but still has some wave action so I'm gonna give it a whirl. Never done this before um, on such a large canvas so I think I'm gonna try low with my power setting and I am going to use the um, attachment that my husband made me on his 3d printer because I think that will give me the um, it'll hone in on the area that I'm looking for when I was when I was uh, flooding the canvas, I had paint go everywhere because I did use this, as you can tell by the, the white paint. I dipped it in the white paint. So, all right, so here we go. Okay, let's start on low and see if this will work.
really pretty. Um, oh my goodness. The cells are just popping. That's what the client wanted. They wanted to make sure that there was bubbles in the water. And there are. There are. Um, it's coming this way. The crest is a little weak, but I think I can work on that. I do have to fix my sides. And I'm going to, I'm going to blow them a little bit more. Um, but the Prussian blue and stuff came out exactly the, the way I wanted it. Oh, this is so pretty. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to let this develop a little bit while I fix my sides and then I will show you the painting from here. I may, I may do a little bit of fiddling just to get a little more wave action here. Um, but it's so pretty. It, it worked. I'm amazed. This is the first time of me doing such a large canvas. Um, and it came out really cool. So I will um, fix this a little bit. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna let this part de develop because it's still doing its thing. I need to make a little bit more wave action here and my sides are pretty, this one's great. I just have to fix this side because um, there's not enough paint going over the side. So I will do that and I will be right back with you. Okay. I'm back and here is the finished painting. It is huge. Um, I'm as far back against my wall as I can be while still getting a picture of this for you. So let me take you through it. So this is the bottom corner. And then we're going up along the side, cresting on the wave. The far corner where they wanted the white space. A lot of white space and then down here to the other part of the wave to the corner again so I'm going to bring you in so you can see the cells worked out perfectly so there are tons of ocean water bubbles in here which are beautiful so I'm just slowly going down to that center corner painting begins. Now I'm going up the left side. Sorry, I think it went too fast. Okay, so this is the left side to far left corner. And I'm going up the left side to the crest of the wave. There are some beautiful cells in here. best. I'm not very tall, so I'm going to do my best to try to get the whole painting in for you. And that's not really working. All right, that's me reaching as high as it can. So this is a 30 by 30 and it is a wave that was requested. And again, I, uh, I'm not worried about the sides, although I made them beautiful, um, because the sides and about a quarter to, well, about an eighth or a quarter of the painting on the edge is going to be um, covered by the wood frame that's going on it. So that is what was worked out for this commission piece. So thank you for watching tonight. This was scary, but also turned out so beautiful. I'm very, very happy with this painting. Um, so I'm going to let this dry right where it is um, for the next couple days. And then I will um, put it on one of the next videos when it's dried and when it's been decided what um, coating is going to go on it. I think resin would be really heavy, but that sounds like what the client is going is hoping for or going for. So we'll see, but it is gorgeous. Look at this, look at this. I love that Prussian blue. It's so pretty and the cells are just amazing. So, all right. Well, thank you for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, this particular painting is, like I said, a commission piece, so it's unavailable, but I, now that I, now that I know I can do it, I'm willing to, um, try this again. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.